I wish somebody would have told me that you are not meant to attract everyone. You're not meant to get every job you apply for. You're not meant to win every game. There are losses in life, but that don't mean it's a loss. So when I was younger, I was extremely insecure about my looks and the whole nine, right? And most of it came from me being bullied and talked about all those things. We get over all that stuff. But um, when I was young, I tried to talk to these girls, but they were not interested. And I'll explain the dynamic of it. So where I'm from, it's kind of heavily populated by both black and white. So um, most of the black people are related. A lot of people don't know that. And back in the day, a lot of incest and stuff happened. We're black and white, but my family taught me early on, look, this is your cousin, this is your cousin, you don't mess with, like, because they seen all that stuff happen, because all these people was thrown into these little towns and stuff, and nobody knew where they came from, so things happen, but, um, so when I heard that, it made me gravitate more towards white people in my area, right, so I tried to get the white girls, but they were not interested, and it, it tanked my security level, I was very insecure, I'm like, well, man, I must be ugly, and you know, I'm asking for to be honest, I'm getting rate threes and you're cool, you're funny, but I wouldn't date you. Like my security level is trash, right? I didn't understand that everybody is not attracted to everyone. Some people have outside influences like their family tell them, hey, you shouldn't talk to black guys. And, you know, like you never know what's going on. But what I'm what I'm saying is there's somebody for everyone. Right. And just because you can't and let me be clear for the people who don't understand, just because you can't get a white girl on a town that may be prejudiced don't mean there's not a white girl, you know, another state or a city or another town. Like, bro, there's someone for everyone. You just may not be in the right area. There's artwork everywhere. Some people don't like this artwork, but go put it in another museum. People will worship it. There's cars. You you might see a Honda Civic and you might love that Honda Civic. You might see a Lamborghini and hate that Lamborghini, right? But the Lamborghini is the one with the price tag, right? Because there, there's a select amount of people. There's a select group that it appeals to. You understand what I'm saying? And so you appeal to another group, but you may not be around them. That's why the important thing for you to do is focus on yourself. When you focus on yourself, everything else will fall in line because sometimes you have so much beauty and potential inside of you, but until you realize it, it will not come out. You understand what I'm saying? So, all those days, all those years that I was insecure, thinking, oh, well, why can't I just get everybody or how, how to attract this or how to attract that? I went through the whole thing, like trying to, you know, manifest getting my crush and trying to win over people like you. You're not supposed to convince people to like you. You understand what I'm saying? Either they do or they don't. That's just the way life is. Let's put it into some perspective. Right. So. Imagine a person that maybe wanted you or just imagine somebody you don't like, like it may be a, a friend at school, just somebody you would never date. OK, put that put that image in your head. If they text you right now and say hello and then you said hello and then they waited two hours to text you, would that make you want to text them more? No. Why is that? Because you're not attracted to them. If that person called you and talked with a, a sweet tone of voice, would that make you attracted to them? No, because you're not attracted to them. If you don't like Lamborghinis and I bring you a Lamborghini, it's not going to make you happy, right? Because you don't like Lamborghinis. If you like a Toyota Camry and I bring you a Toyota Camry, you're going to be happy because you like a Toyota Camry. Now, what you might do with that Lamborghini is get it from me and sell it to get money because you're more attracted to the money. And what are you going to do with that money? You're probably going to go buy a Honda Civic because that's what you wanted. You understand what I'm saying? We are not meant to be attracted to everything. We all have our groups. We all have our desires. There's certain things that click with certain people. So it's important to focus on you. But you can build attraction. Attraction is not all physical. Attraction is not all mental. There's different things you can do. So what, what I can tell you to do, like I said, this is why you should focus on yourself. When in doubt, look within, right? If you don't think there's love out there in the world, look within you. If there's love within you, there has to be love out there somewhere. You don't have to play games to attract people and do all this. Because I, I learned this actually, like this year. This year, I learned this. Well, last year, I learned this. When you find someone for you, you do not have to play games. It is harder for you to get rid of them 
than it is to make them like you. You understand what I'm saying? If somebody doesn't like you, they're just not going to like you. Can, can you make you know yourself appear more friendly, more useful, and they may want you around more? Absolutely. But if someone is attracted to you, they're going to be attracted to you. When I met my girl and... Um, you know, last year, we're not together anymore. But when I met her, I didn't have to try. I didn't have to wait 10 hours to take her back. I didn't have to fix my hair a certain way. Now, I'm gonna always take care of myself and I'm gonna always look good. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure I look my best. Am I gonna like get dolled up and, you know what I'm saying, get the jacket on and some, some slacks and some boots to go to the grocery store? No. You know what I'm saying? I look good in pajamas and a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm gonna always look good. I'm gonna always take care of myself. That's what I'm saying. You're not ugly, but you could look better. There's things you could do to make yourself look better, like find a haircut that fits you. Get on your skincare routine. Get a better diet so that you look better, you smell better. Get a fragrance. Get some better clothes, clothes that fit you, things that fit your vibe. You understand what I'm saying? Be comfortable in your own skin. There's things you can do that make you more attractive, listening more, right? And that, that's where we're going from physical to just your personality, who you are. You understand what I'm saying? But... All these games, trying to attract 20 different people that don't like you, I promise you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. It's effortless when you find people that like you. But the thing is, it's a rare commodity. But what happens when something is rare? When something is rare, it has much more value. Much more value. That's why people go crazy about trying to get 20 different girls because it's, it's hard to find that one girl. But some people set down that shadowy path to lock in and focus on themselves. And then when they're on their journey, it's like, oh, snap, is she shining? Like out, out of all this time, nobody appealed to me, but why is she shining? And then boom, there she is. But when you focus on yourself and you take care of things, you are more appealing to people. Right. And if you don't have it all aesthetically, your 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 confidence, your posture, just the energy inside you that exudes all over the place, your journey, your purpose, all those things, all those things are going to shine light. Right. Because if you worked hard and you created this big business and someone sees that they're going to become interested in you, maybe they want to know, you know, how you did it and things like that. They may get inspired to you and they may be overlook the insecurities that you have. Right. I'm not the most beautiful person in the world, but I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm ugly and this and that. You know what I mean? I know I look good. I used to hate the way I look. I didn't understand it. And a lot of y'all young guys or girls, too. Do y'all not understand that y'all are young and y'all are still growing and morphing into your body? Like, give it some time. There's things you can do. Like I said, you can take care of your skin. You can wear better, you know, get your, your hair that, a hairstyle that fits you more. You know what I'm saying? You can get clothes that fit you better. There's things you can do to increase your level of attraction or increase the way you look. You can breathe better, use proper uh, tongue posture and fix your jawline a little bit, especially if you're young. There's things you can do. But I'm telling you, you don't look as bad as you think. You are just looking at yourself from the eyes of other people, and that is corrupt. That is very corrupt. How are you supposed to see the valuable contents of who you are inside of you from looking through other people's eyes? They can't see it. Because when let, let me tell you this. When you feel bad, and you tell somebody, oh man, I feel bad, and they tell you, you don't feel bad, you're okay. You're like, how the hell are you going to tell me how I feel? How are you going to tell me what I think? Okay. So why would you use their opinions to judge yourself? Why? Because your brain is corrupted. You're not focusing on yourself. We've been lied to. All this dating information about, oh, text this girl and do this and do that. It's all corrupt. If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. If you want stupid prizes, then by all means, play stupid games. And I say that with with full knowledge of knowing that, hey, whatever is out there, you know, to get, that's what you got to get. But you really don't. You could always focus on yourself and wait for better opportunities. You could always focus on yourself and relocate. And if you're young, focus on yourself. Your time is coming, my friend. Don't rush it. I rushed it. And I'm, you know, I regretted it. 
I was exposed to things very early in my life and I, I just can't wait to grow up. I just can't wait to grow up. It's not what it's hyped out to be. I promise it's not. Now with, with the other part of my soul, with me being freedom, free and independent, I do love that. You know, the ability to get up and do this and get up and do that and cook this and do that and eat, you know what I'm saying? Experience this. But there's more to life, my friend, and you'll get to that point. But if you really focus on yourself, you will appreciate things more later on. So start to love yourself. Find ways to take care of yourself, better care of yourself, skin care, hair care, right? Nails, clothes. There's ways to make you look better. But don't let what somebody else thinks make your the vision of you become distorted. Because we're not meant to appeal to everyone. Because if we did, like if everybody was attracted to everyone, that would make no sense. It would literally make no sense. That would be, it would just be stupid. Let's be honest. But um, yeah, man. Think about yourself in a better manner. Love yourself. And if you don't, you better start. Now it's time for me to go eat. I delayed that gratification. You know, I was given the opportunity to come eat like 15 minutes ago. But I said, nope, got to make a video for my people. Or I have to talk to my people. My apologies. I'll get 10 push-ups after that for that. But um, I had to talk to my people. had to have a good conversation. And now my stomach is turning over. And I will talk to you very soon. I love you. The tribe is on the rise. Now let's get it, man.